um, I, I was president of National Council of Jewish Women one year, uh, several years, and we, ha we had a grocery store, Grand Union, and one day I was um, waiting to get some meat cut up, and I handed it to the butcher, and I said, can you cut this in uh, one-inch strips? And uh, as I'm standing there, um, the man from the deli came over, and he said to the butcher, oh, I'm so angry. He says, why are you angry? I have to preface it by saying I had long, straight blonde hair, and I probably didn't look particularly Jewish, whatever that means. He says, why are you angry? He says, well, I just did these six platters for a lady, and she picked them up and didn't give me a tip. And the butcher says, I'm standing there holding this slab of meat, he says, what was she, Jewish or something? I've been in that store. It was my store. It was my store. I guess he never thought I was Jewish. And here I am buying not a kosher piece of meat either, you know. So I looked at him and I said, listen, this Jewish lady wants these steaks cut up an inch thick and you're not getting a tip from her either. And I threw the, the slab of meat at him and I went to find the manager of the store who was named Mr. Chin, Chinese, nice Chinese man. I said, Mr. Chin, I related to him what had happened. I said, Mr. Chin, you know me very well. I said, I have 500 ladies in this neighborhood that belong to National Council of Jewish Women. I'm the president. If that man is not out of here by tomorrow, we're going to be outside all of us. I said, I'm not kidding. They were, he was gone the next day. I never saw him again. But I did, because, because I didn't look particularly Jewish, I had quite a few experiences growing up where people felt free to say something in front of me. And I never let them get away with it.